how to get PS2 games working on a CFW hacked or jailbroken PS3. Uh, the compatible models are the 2000 series. The 3000 series won't work. Uh, if you get a 3000 series off me, it's going to have HFW uh, slash hen. Now the CFW ones um, will be running Evil Nat 4872, which is Cobra. And we'll just get into it. Turn on the controller. Um, so when I mod these, it's on my test bench here. Um, and I do it on a little PVM with RGB or component. So I've just got to switch it to HDMI. And it's running through an HDMI loop. Funnily enough, I'm recording myself on a PS3 camera. It's, uh, it's actually really good quality. Uh, my headset buzzes and stuff. So yes, I can read that. So to be honest, I've never done it with a disc. Um, I've only done it with ISOs, but I know you can do it with discs. Now, if you get a console off me, this is all going to be set up already. You've got Multiman, uh, Prep ISO, and Webman Mod. Uh, Webman Mod's a full install. I'll hold L1 and hit X on that um, prior to sending it out to you, so you'll be good to go. Now, first off, I'm going to show you how to do it with a USB. Um, it should be straightforward with the disc as well. But like I said, I haven't done it, but we'll figure it out. Um, so we're going to go in, well, there's two ways to do it actually. Um, the first one would be, I'll just grab the USB. So this has a copy of um, Silent Hill 3 on it. The PAL version of a personal copy that I've got in possession. So I've just made this image using Image Burn. Let's pop that in here. Now how you get your disk images is not my concern, <coughs> cough, vim, uh, but, and so forth, uh, you know, do whatever you want. So, the first way would be, this is the webman mod, you've got your folders here with the corresponding console, we've got PlayStation 3, PlayStation 2, and PlayStation. Now... I really can't be bothered plugging in my USB onto my computer and then doing screen capture on how to set that up, but it's very straightforward. Uh, this is just a FAT32 formatted flash drive. It's not NTFS. I've delved into that in another video. It's just the FAT32. Um, and I've simply put the ISO. Uh, there are other formats for disk images, bin files, Q, bin and Q, um, and so forth, but this is an ISO. Uh, you can use whatever. I think the ones you'll get off the internet are usually Q and bin files. Um, so we've got that plugged in and now the image files need to be in a folder called PS3 ISO. That's PS3 ISO. Make that folder on the root of the drive. Dump your games in there. Oh, sorry. This is a PS2 uh, instructional video. So <laughs> PS2 ISO. So we've got that on the USB which I've plugged in and we're just going to run prep ISO which is uh, both FAT32 and NTFS compatible. Now this will just index the uh, disk images it finds on the USB device. It can take 30 seconds or so so just wait it out. There we go. So now when we go into Webman Games, oh, it doesn't have the game on it anymore. Okay, guys, we're back. So um, <clears throat> backtrack, we'll run prep ISO again. Uh, this time there is an ISO in the PS2 ISO folder. Okay, so we'll start with option A. Uh, option A. We click on that. So we go onto it and hit X. Now the issue I have with that is it does it blindly. You, you don't get a progress bar you just have to sit there and wait and if you get impatient and you try and load the ISO again while it's actually copying to the hard drive in the background it will cancel the um, 
copy to the hard drive and then it will try and boot an unfinished uh, you know transfer so you've got like you know a tenth of a file or whatever half a file there and it'll try and boot that and it'll just hang and you'll be like you know oh my PlayStation's broken what's going on but it's not you've just unknowingly cancelled the download uh, sorry a, a transfer and um, tried to boot pretty much a corrupt file so <clears throat> you could do that if you want works fine uh, but for now we're going to go into webman games no we're not we're just in webman's games we're going to go into multi-man so open multi-man sorry guys I don't script these this you know just off the bat far from professional but hopefully it, <laughs> it helps you work things out Now the reason the USB didn't originally have a game on it is because when we use the method before it just copies the file but when we use multi-man it actually um, it's like cut and paste it, um, it it deletes the ISO that you're copying off the USB flash drive um, so it, it transfers it, it doesn't just copy it so this is multi-man, we'll go refresh connected devices and game list, I'm pretty sure is that the one or is it in here it is, it's in the retro section so you go across to retro not game it's it's game on um, the normal operating system back in the Sony one but here we're gonna go into retro um, so just X on the game and then you'll get this PS2 ISO formats not supported, yada yada, do you want to transfer the file? And we're going to go, <coughs> excuse me, we're going to say no. No, of course we're going to say yes. So we'll just wait this out and um, I'll be back in... Now I've got a um, flash drive here without a copy of that game on it again. Given this flash drive a hard life doing it this way, but um, it is what it is. I do it for you. I'm doing it for you guys. We'll unplug that. It is not needed. So it's kicked us back to the normal operating system, and then you can see there that the game's mounted. You know, you never need to go back into multi-man anymore. Um, if you want to remount it, you can just go into here uh, after you run prep ISO. So you, you can see here that it's indexed on the USB. You can see there dev underscore USB, whatever. Um, I don't have the USB plugged in, so it's sitting there just going, hey, where are you? Um, if we run uh, prep ISO again, it should actually detect it on the hard drive. Just boot the game and see if it works. Um, if you want to know how to jailbreak these, there's already plenty of tutorials out there, so I'm not going to make another one. And it, do it at your own risk too, because you can brick these. People do it all the time. All right, there we go. I've hit X. Let's go. Oh, internal memory card. <clears throat> yes, please. No, that's fine, just call it that. Alright, we have a memory card, a virtual memory card, well, sort of. It's like a memory card on the hard drive. Um, where am I going? Alright, let's load this.
Okay, so you saw the PS2 game um, boot. I've just rebooted the console. Um, <clears throat> as mentioned, I'm winging it. <clears throat> I prefer my original hardware. Uh, PS2 games, uh, they're not 100% compatible on this, and it is provided via emulation. Um, so, you know, I just use a real PS2 if I want to play a PS2 game, but um, the emulator on here with the games that it's compatible with is it's very good. Um, you'd be hard pressed finding a difference um, with original hardware versus the emulator on this. Uh, maybe the frame rate might uh, jump around a little bit, not quite as consistent, but yeah, it'd be hard to notice. Same with PS1 games. Um, and it looks beautiful on RGB through a PVM, so um, that's the good thing about the PS3s. They've got every analog output possible. You've got S video, composite, component, RGB. Um, and then you've also got obviously your HDMI for the more modern PS3 games on a uh, on a flat panel. Um, anyway, let's put a disc in. <coughs> we'll see what happens. It's probably oops. <coughs> it's probably exactly the same as with the ISO on the USB. There it is. Oh no, it's trying to boot it. I think this will lock it up. Okay, so I went into here after it locked up and I powered off the console. We opened Multiman. The game didn't turn up. So, step one open Multiman. You know what not to do. Do not insert the PS2 disc at the PS3 operating system. Open Multiman, then put the disc in. And here we have it. I still haven't ripped it. Like I said, I've never done this before. I haven't gone any further than this. Let's hit X on it. We should get the same warning. Will we get the same warning or will I cause it to lock up again? Ah, let's kick this back to here. Well, I do not want to run that again. It will freeze. Don't do it. Oh, I'll be back. Let's figure this out. I'll see you soon. Okay, I was only gone for 30 seconds or so. We also know what not to do. We, we do not put the disc in at the <laughs> PS3 operating system. And... We do not open Multiman and then put the disc in and select the game because that's going to kick us back to the operating system, um, the Sony one. Um, what we want to do is open Multiman. Okay, step one. Step A, open Multiman. Step B, insert the PS2 disc you want to rip. Go across the game. Highlight the game. Here we have Virtual Tennis. Then hit Triangle. After we hit Triangle, we go down to Create ISO we hit X. Looks like we're finally there guys. Now we'll wait this one out and we'll give it a test run. We'll take the disc out afterwards and we'll see if it works. Okay, so here we go. I uh, will provide a link in the description to the compatibility list. I never checked if this game was compatible, to be honest, so fingers crossed it works. This time when we select it, it should kick us back to the operating system, the PS3 operating system, out of Multiman, which is fine. Uh, there's probably a way to play it from Multiman, but you'll have to figure that out yourself. I don't believe in using extra software, um, you know, if you, if you don't need it, there's nothing wrong with this. If you can access everything from the PS3 OS, then I don't see why you wouldn't. Um, is it here? It's not mounted. Is it in here? It's not. That's still their USB uh, index, so let's go. 
prep ISO and it should show two PS2 games in that folder on the on the hard drive. Whoops, I just clicked on webman mod. Oh god. Make things worse, I hit X without holding L. That's not the full version. This is full of bloopers. Alright, sweet. It's there. Thank the guy up in the clouds for that. So this should mount it. There it is. It's mounted it. Let's see if it works. Okay, we're there. We got there in the end, guys. Enjoy.